Hi and welcome to another edition. Um, we are having a look today at my Archer and Olive unboxing. I was so lucky to get a watercolor notebook as well as a B5 planner. The watercolor notebook is incredible. It's a little bit toothy and all of the dots are perfectly spaced. It's 200 GSM and it's gorgeous. Now we go over to the planner. The presentation is amazing. Archer and Olive have really upped their game. The little gold foil ampersand on the front is beautiful and it's beautifully ripped on the inside as well. We take it out and it's got gold binding down the side, a beautiful gold daily agenda header and when you open it up it is just so lovely. She's hand drawn the borders and the future log. I really like the future log as well as the monthly space and plans. There's heaps of space in the border to make it your own as well. And then we go on to the weekly spreads which are horizontal, however you can potentially stick other paper in because there is so much size and landscape, you've got a lot of space to use. At the end of every month is two dot pages and at the back of the notebook there's a whole heap of blank dot pages for you to use as well. There's also the custom little pocket in the back and because it's B5 it's absolutely stunning and huge heaps of space to write those notes or keep those memories. For the pen test in my new watercolor notebook I wanted to use the juiciest pens I could find so I started with my Karin markers which blended so well on the paper they really stuck well to that 200 GSM uh, watercolor paper really stunning I then tried out my mermaid markers and they were really beautiful as well they blended beautifully and stuck to the page wonderfully loved it my Tombos as well blended very well. I found that the Tombos, and I always do, don't blend as well as they could potentially blend. I then tried my Ecoline Eco markers. They're really blendy and really wet as well. A couple of watercolour pencils and some standard watercolour just to give it a go as well. Some watercolour ink and then started with my primer marketing watercolours as well just to see what they all look like on the page. I gave them a bit of a dry as well as kind of check to see if they were bleeding through to the other side. There was no bleed through and when I dried it there was not a lot of page bend. I think any page bend I saw was due to the fact that I was using heat on it but other than that there was no page bending and the pages remained flat. The book is really thick as well so you've got tons of pages to write on. Um, I also tried using a Sharpie on it just to see, just as an experiment to see if it would bleed through and while there was a little bit of ghosting, really there was barely any bleed through on the other side. Really impressed with this notebook, really excited to start using it. I think it's definitely going to be a firm favourite in this household. Checked it out with my fountain pen as well and while the page is a little bit grippy and a little toothy, that's perfect for watercolour, but not so great for my fountain pen. Here I'm unboxing my We Are Memory Keepers foil quill pens. They come in medium, large and small, and I'm going to use them to customise the front page of my planners. I really wanted to customize my notebooks this time uh, in a way that really highlighted the stuff that Bonnie had done on the front cover. So I used my foil quill pens to create a custom title page which said Nikki and I thought it would be a really good idea to make it gold. Um, what's great about these pens is they just plug into a USB charger and you can write over the foil and they hot press the foil to the medium you're working on. I'm absolutely in love with these. The next thing I wanted to do was a little bit more of a floral decoration down at the bottom, also foiled, so I used a stamp this time to stamp over the foil so that I knew where to draw my picture. I used the medium pen to draw across the entire black inked 
a picture of the floral design and at the end we just lift it off and the foil is stuck to the page. I am absolutely in love with these. These are potentially my new favorite thing in the history of favorite things. For my planner, however, I have been waiting months to use this really floral amphazan that I found. It's really cute and got beautiful gold uh, foil on it and it just matches the planner so perfectly, especially with Bonnie's beautiful amphazan logo. As always, thanks for watching and please hit the subscribe button. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below as well. Thank you!